helping me record the song, Ben. Whew. Sure, let's do it quickly. If it gets any hotter in here, it'll fry my computer processor. Ah! Oh, why do hot things happen to good people? Hey, 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 we can handle a little heat wave. Imagine we're on vacation, relaxing in a sauna. Ooh, a sauna. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Ah! Uh, guys, why don't we just turn on the air conditioner? No! The landlord said we're not allowed to touch his new thermostat, and he said it with a finger waggle. I'll just turn it down a little. The landlord won't even know. Someone touched thermostat. I find out who. Have mercy, my lord. The maiden didn't know it is forbidden to touch the royal thermostat. I knew in my brain power you were not to be trusted. So I bought the high security thermostat, yes. It requires a code, a secret huh? code. And that code can only be huh? entered in the computer cloud. A secret computer cloud. Do you all understand? No uh, problem, yes, sir, lord. Mm -hmm. sir, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, okay, I go to mountains uh, for a day to, uh, how you say, chill. Stay cool, everybody. For thermostat, you no touch. Stay cool? Stay cool? I don't even remember what cool feels like. I can't think. It's too hot! <sighs> How's it going, Ben? Any luck? Ah, oh. Does bad luck count? No. Hey, guys, I was going to take a dip in my swimming pool, and I want to stop by and say, you can't come! Because my parents said no one could visit until it's five. Why are you telling us this? I figured you'd want to know that I'm comfortable. Bye! Ow! I wish I Ugh. lived with Ginger. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, maybe we don't have a pool like Ginger, but we can find ways to cool down. How? Uh, we could go outside. Yeah, a, a nice breeze is like free air conditioning. Come on! See? Isn't it nice out here? Um, I think I'm just gonna go home. Oh, no, don't leave. I'll miss you. I mean, uh, well, maybe Hank has, has found a way to keep cool. <laughs> Hank, how are you holding up? All right, then tell me this. If you saw every episode of Rod Spiman, Undercover Agent, then why did the agency try to make him cut his ponytail? I mean, don't they know he doesn't play by their rules? <laughs> hmm, true, Hank. But in the season finale, he did visit an enemy barbershop, right? But he only got his mustache trimmed. What did he charge, Hank? What did the barber charge? I... I... I can't remember. Oh, good. I was worried the heat was getting to him. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Ben's computer is fried, Hank has gone crazy, and worst of all, Angela is considering going home. I mean, I know the landlord told us not to touch the thermostat, but... Oh, the, the tripod is melting! Okay, that's it. Somebody has got to stand up to the landlord. You know the answer. You saw the episode, Hank. Okay, okay, give me a hint. Did the enemy barber charge Spyman more or less than the lady at the secret agent spa? More, Hank. Okay, okay. She charged him eight bucks for a buzz cut. Twelve if she used scissors. Comrades, we have suffered enough under the landlord's sweltering tyranny. We must join together and claim our rights to basic coolness. Yes, Tom, I am with you. Let's claim our coolness rights. But the code to the thermostat is in the cloud, remember? Oh, right. The secret cloud. Well, I guess Ben is just not good enough uh, with computers to get in there. Not good enough with computers? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on! No. I'll find a way to hack into the cloud somehow. Behold, there is something huh? on my head, but it is not a hat. That's it! With my virtual reality device, I can enter the cloud and reprogram the thermostat from inside! We're all with you, Ben. Finally! A world that makes sense. Now, where is that thermostat? I don't 
now. Agent Rod Spyman pay the enemy barber 1495 one, Hank, buddy, maybe you should go lie down, okay? No thanks, I'm gonna go lie down. Well, it's worth a try. One, four, nine, five. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, thank Woo goodness. Cool yeah. Yes! Oh. Oh, so nice. I could stand here for the rest of my life. <sighs> ben, you did it! You defeated the landlord and won us our rights to basic coolness. Ben, you're our hero. Oh, please. Hero is such a strong word. And appropriate. <laughs> oh, is that... <sighs> conditioned air? Yes! Feel it! Breathe it! Hank, you won't believe this, but Ben turned on the AC using the code that you gave him. What code? What code? 1495. Somehow you knew the secret code. I did? Yes. How did you know the code anyway? Oh, yeah, I remember. The watermelon gave me a clue, and I figured it out. I wonder how the watermelon do I do. That's weird. <laughs> Who cares? It's not hot anymore. Let's hear it for Ben. Yeah! Uh, hey, Ben, uh, it's starting to get a little too cool in here. To you, maybe, but it's the optimal temperature for my electronics. Hmm. Can you make it just a little warmer? No, I saved us from the heat. So now I am in charge of the thermostat. Do you all understand? Okay, was just a suggestion. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be too hot. Don't you forget it. Thank you, oh brave one. Ben, you have to stop this. All right, you c c c crank the temperature to l l l low. Yeah, it's c c c freezing in here. One more comment and you will be banished to the heat. You can't talk to her like that. That's it, I I'm gonna make it warmer in here. Ah, ah, ah. That's what you'll get when you oppose the ruler of the thermostat. Okay, Angela, now let's record that song. Angela, ah, go ahead. Angela. Hey guys, my lifeguard says it's okay for you to swim in my pool now. <laughs> Why is everyone frozen? Because they are touching thermostat when I am specifically telling them no touching of thermostat. Oh, I get it. You're acting like the landlord. No, I'm not. The landlord took away everyone's right to basic coolness. And you took away everyone's right to basic warmness. Oh, no. What have I become? A tyrant! I don't want to be a tyrant! Oh, why not? Because I want to be a friend. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I could handle the power of a thermostat, but I could not. I became a thermomonster. monster. It's all good, Ben. It wasn't you. It wasn't? No, it was the thermostat. I and mean, when it all comes down to it, the real villain ah, is... The landlord! <gasps> Welcome back, your lordship. This... Ha <laughs> ha, just be cool, guy. No oh. one touched thermostat, mm. right? <laughs> Did you? Who? Us? No. I mean, what? Do you think we would hacked into the cloud and reprogram the thermostat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's silly. Wait, wait, did you do that or not? I do not know. What's that, Ginger? You want us to go swimming in your pool right now? All right. Uh, I didn't say that. Pool party at Ginger's house. I never said Ooh, that I said that. Pool party, yeah. No one gets to touch <laughs> the pool noodles except me. 
Tis hath been a pleasure, my lord. Of course, they no mess with the thermostat. How could they guess? I mean, it's not like watermelon. Saw me type in and told everyone. <laughs> Good one, landlord. <laughs> you mean 1495? <laughs> <laughs> Reason number 11, that you aren't allowed to touch my stuff while I'm gone, some of it is extremely dangerous. Oh, Ben, just stop, okay? No one is gonna mess with your nerd equipment. And by the way, trying to scare us with talk of danger wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, danger is my middle name. It is? No, it's Hank. Wait, mm. your name is Hank Hank? Yeah, except in Fred's where it's uh, honk honk. Reason number 12, you aren't allowed to touch my stuff while I'm gone. A little thing called respect. Mm. Well, uh, I have to go. I have that thing at the place. Huh? Gotta run. Oh, whoa! Can't believe I almost forgot about that thing at the place. I can't think of a fake excuse, so I'm just gonna go over there. Dun, 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 dun. Ben, buddy, just go, all right? I've got everything under control. But you guys stopped me right before reason 13. That seems like it might be a bad omen. Oh, come on. Just trust me, now go. No, no, hold on a second. He really thinks we'd mess with his stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Really? <laughs> huh? What? Uh, hey! <laughs> huh? Oh no! I'm close to touching something! And if I do, who knows what terrible thing might happen? Uh oh. You'll just have to tell the record company hey. that I will only do the world tour if I start in Antarctica. My penguin fan base is very important to me. Don't worry, Tom. Ben? Nobody touched your nerdy science things while you were gone. Uh, my science things? Hey, come chill with me, amigo. Angela. A new episode of McGillicuddy and Bongo is starting. McGillicuddy and Bongo? Don't you mean Bongo and McGillicuddy? Oh, a camera, great. <clears throat> it seems I've been transported through a wormhole to a parallel universe. This looks like my normal residence, but everything is reversed. The strangeness is alarming, so I will approach the problem rationally and remain calm. I am freaking out! Ha! Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm stuck in some sort of bizarre world! You people are my friends, but you're, you're not my friends! Aw, oh, buddy, relax. I'm still Angela, TV-loving couch potato. And I'm still Honk Honk, the world's next biggest pop star. And I'm still Ben, cool front man of Ben and Tom Enterprises. Cool? <gasps> then that means I'm... You're Tom, the nerd. And... No. <laughs> Tom fainted again. <laughs> Minute. You're saying... Yes. And if you're here, then our Tom is... Yes. And the opposite of no is... Yes. Hmm. How do we know you're not the real Tom? The glasses. Oh. This could be some kind of April Fool's Day prank. Aha, but it's not even April. Yeah, then we'd never expect it, okay? I'm on to you. I happen to be an expert on comedy, so I'd come up with something very funny if that was my goal. Example, why did the keynote speaker at the science conference cross the road? Why? To get to the other slide. <laughs> slide. Hey, who's stealing my jokes? 
So you're saying, in your universe, you're the cool one? Exactly. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't see it. Oh. Hmm. But who cares? Welcome to our universe, Whoa. cool Tom. Yeah, thanks. Dude, this calls for a celebration. Cool. Is everything okay, Chums? <laughs> uh, Ginger, is that you? This is new Tom. He's like a cool Tom from a parallel universe. Oh, welcome! Had I known we had a special guest, I'd have cooked a special dinner. I say we order milkshakes. No, let's order pizza. No way, milkshakes. Guys, 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 there's no need to fight. We can just order both. Wait, what? Both? Yeah, we'll just order pizza and milkshakes. But don't... Whoa! Looks like we got a problem solver in the house. This is gonna be amazing. I'll go pick everything up. My treat. No, no, I insist. Yeah! Yeah! Cool. Hey, Ginger, you wanna grab some candy while you're out too? Huh? Well, I don't eat candy, but I'll gladly get some for you. This is so weird. Ah. Sure is great to have you here, but yeah. are you sure your friends won't miss you back in your universe? Are you kidding? It sounds like your nerd Tom is like our nerd Ben, so I'm sure they're having a great time together. I'm in charge of the rescue mission! I am trying to help. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. We all have to do our parts perfectly if we want this rescue mission to work. Otherwise, we may never get our Tom back and we'll be stuck with this monster! Who are you calling a monster? I'll have you know, in my universe, I am a well-respected man of science. Maybe your universe is dumb! Don't you dare talk about my universe like that! Enough! Let's just hurry up and rescue Tom so you two will never have to see each other again! Fine with me. Fine with me, too. <sighs> I just hope we're not too late. Yeah, if things are bad here, it must be terrible over there for Tom. Best day ever! Hey, Tom, I think I speak for everyone when I say you're the coolest guy we've ever met in any universe. Oh, man. He's right, Tom. Things have been way more fun with you here. We haven't gotten any work done, but spending quality time with your friends is also important. Hey, you guys, McKillicuddy and Bongo is starting. Oh, okay. McGillicuddy can talk. Don't you ever watch TV? Would you care for a fresh pink carrot? I'll skip the carrots, but you know what I would like to eat? So, like, your meat? I don't hear it. I saw what you were doing. We're gonna get you out of there. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. This is for your own good. Uh, what's going on, new Tom? Skip. Oh, no. I have to stay here. This Angela likes me. Angela, hey, Ginger, get back no. to the wormhole now.
let it go, Ginger. That candy wasn't meant to be. But how could you? Didn't you see me and the other Angela? Listen, I saw you and that fake Angela, and I don't like what I saw. Uh, wait a minute. Why do you care so much about me and that other Angela? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Who said I cared? Not me. It seems like you care a little. I, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Gotta go, bye. I want to talk about it. Ah, everything's back to normal. You guys, I'm ready for the big rescue mission. Well, I see you forgot about me. So typical of you, Ben. You see, this is why I should have been in charge of this project. Okay, that's it. to try the greatest sandwich the world has ever known. The Hank Special. I am! Oh, me too. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm starving more. Now for the finishing touch. My secret ingredient. I don't want to reveal what it is, so please close your eyes. <sighs> has anybody seen the vinegar? Is vinegar your secret ingredient? Oh, <laughs> nice try, Angela. Ooh. You guys, you guys. Huh? <sighs> the CEO is having a birthday party, and we're invited. Wait, how did we get an invite? Well, let's just say that someone hacked into the guest list and added our names. Ahem. Fine. Ginger hacked the guest list, but I asked him to. It was so easy. Oh, you guys are going to get into so much trouble. Not when we show up to his party with our newest invention, the Tompoline. This supercharged trampoline will revolutionize the world of spring and fabric-based propulsion. Huh? Guess who has two thumbs and is performing at the CEO's birthday party? Is it Angela? Yeah, is it Angela? No, it's me! They bucked me to do stand-up! Stand-up comedy? No thanks, I'm gonna go lie down. How many astronomers does it take to screw in a light bulb? None! They prefer to work in the dark. <laughs> ah, enough! We have got to stop Ben. If the CEO hears one of his terrible jokes, he's gonna think we're the lamest, most uninspired company ever. Which means there's no way we'll be millionaires by the date I predicted on my calendar. I'm sorry, but your stand-up is just not as good as uh, it could be. That's an understatement. I'm all for constructive criticism. That's how we artists improve. Well, there's something... Uh, maybe it's your delivery, or your jokes, or the fact that you're not funny. So, you're saying it's my delivery, then? Or maybe, you know, the other two things I mentioned. Hmm. So all I have to do is find some way to improve my delivery. Oh, no. Was that his robot building face? Prepare to witness history. To improve my comedy delivery, I created the world's first fully robotic, fully hilarious ventriloquist dummy. Rise, Galileo! Rise! Oh, yeah, I named him Galileo. Hello, I am Galileo. Enthusiasm on, calculating comedy, loading jokes. It's a lie! A lie! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this reminds me of that movie about the mad scientist who created a monster. You mean Frankenstein? No, that's not it. Hank, you're thinking of Frankenstein. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nope, that's vinegar. Whatever, Stein. Nice to be here. Say, why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? 
I don't know, Galileo. Why did the chemist sit on a whoopee cushion? Because he was looking for a big reaction. <laughs> Thank you. Is Galileo even less funny than Ben? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretending I can't hear. Just make a joke about chemistry? Yikes! That is lame. <laughs> Almost as lame as that lab coat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, yeah. Huh? The only thing more drab and boring than that lab coat is the guy wearing it. Hey! -o! <laughs> <laughs> See, oh. We got you, Ben. Did somebody just say something? <laughs> because all I heard was <laughs> 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 Apparently, the vinegar from Hank's sandwich had the perfect acidity to turn Galileo into a delightful wisecracker. For the first time ever, I'm actually confident that Ben will get laughs on stage. I'm sure there's been other times. Nope. Uh... A little more vinegar. Make sure that his tongue is sharp for tomorrow. A little extra comedy never hurt anybody. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Guarded. You look thirsty. Oh, let me water your flowers. <laughs> oh, come on, Miguel Cuddy, back to headquarters. <laughs> And then he laid in a tree and ate eucalyptus for 20 whole minutes. It was awesome. And they actually <laughs> showed up? Oh, yeah. The lady who said the koala is all about marsupial veritas. Ah chew! Oh, I'm sorry. I just happen to be allergic to boring stories. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, yo, Galileo. Remember to save some zings for the big show today, hmm? Don't worry. I'll be ready. <laughs> Me too. I even wrote a new song. Mr. CEO, give us a little dough. Be a pal, don't be mean. Please buy a top of leaves. Ow! The last time I heard a noise that shrill, my dentist was giving me a root canal. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa, hey, Galileo. That is a little harsh. Did I strike a nerve? Yes, you struck a nerve. Oh, wow, 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 wow. What's with Galileo? These aren't even jokes. They're just straight up insults. Hi. I think he's funnier than ever. Daddy, he's funnier than ever. Hey, newsflash, Tiny. Nobody cares what your dumb face thinks. <laughs> hey! Chillax, Brobot. Ginger's just a kid. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Too much? Ben, <laughs> you gotta do something. If he insults the CEO like this, we're gonna be in serious trouble. Hmm. Something's gone haywire. I'm gonna shut Galileo down so I can check his circuits. Watch it, pal. No one's shutting anyone down. <laughs> 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 Talking Tom, or should I say, never stop talking Tom? But I am gonna insult the CEO, and I'm gonna make sure he knows I was proudly built by Tom and Ben Enterprises. <laughs> stop! No! Check, one, two, okay, I see three checks. Just a reminder, charity donations made in my name do not count as birthday presents. Bow, wow, wow! Hey, looks like it's time for the comedian. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I was distracted by that filthy half-dead caterpillar stapled to your lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had soup earlier and uh, there was no napkin. <laughs> Works for you, or they just want to sell you their lame inventions. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Where'd you get that outfit from? Make me look bad. That suit and the company you founded. Guess what? It's terrible. The only worst company is the one run by <laughs> those guys. Don't listen to it, Mr. CEO. They're the ones who built me. Stop! Ah, stop! Ah! What? Yes. That's it. Hey! Was that? Uh, sir, I just created Galileo to help me with my comedy delivery. I'm very sorry if he offended you. Oh, I'm not offended. <laughs> what, really? Do you know what it's like being the most powerful CEO in town? Heck yeah! Of course you don't. Everyone's always telling you what you want to hear. No one ever gives it to you straight. This robotic dummy was finally giving me some honest feedback as part of his comedy act, but you destroyed him! Wow, I don't know what to say. Well, you better think of something, because I paid for a comedy show. So why did the <sighs> teacher send the periodic table Boo! to the... No science jokes. Come on, be funny like your insult comedy dummy. <laughs> Does right. he know it's my birthday? Hey, CEO, I heard you're so mean that your goldfish evolved legs and ran away. Uh, yeah. Goldfish? She... She's... She's passed away. How could you? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I... Oh, I had no idea. And you ruined my birthday. Security! Whee! Let's get out of here! Everybody run! <laughs> and sing! Big news! We finally released the big update on the Talking Bed app. Better late than never, right, Ben? Tom released it. It's not ready. Now there's so many angry customers, I don't have time to fix the bugs. We'll be fine. I got Hank to help with the customer service. What? You say the Bed app won't stop burping? I know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the app. Now, what were you saying again? Hello? Hello? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The app won't even open? Well, if I were you, I'd call it complaint. Uh, yeah. I don't really understand technical junk, but maybe you can help me with a problem. See, I got this ingrown toenail. And that's why Hank is no longer helping out with customer service. Ah! Oh! What's this piece of junk? This is the solution to our sudden increase in customer service calls. Mm. Say hello to Gilbert. Gilbert? Why is it called that? It's named after the two guys who built it, Gil and Bert. Great. They were in such a hurry to get rid of it, <laughs> they practically gave it to us. <laughs> I bet this was high tech back at the turn of the century. Let's see if Gilbert works. Hello, and welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Yeah. Tech support. I think you said neck and spork. If this is correct, huh? press one. If this is not correct, press the asterisk, followed by the function key, followed Who by the Who has a function key on their, what? Huh? I think you said, I don't have a function key. If this is correct, press the function key. <gasps> if this is not correct, press any diagonal sequence of buttons. Uh, 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 press it. Not yet. Wait until the dawn. Ah. You waited too long. Goodbye. You told me to wait. <laughs> ah! Real cutting edge technology. Mm. No problem. We'll just have to program it to act more human. More human. Its prime directive is to answer questions with the correct answer. Humans are terrible at that. No, 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 no. Answering questions correctly isn't important. Then what is important? Being. Friendly. Until you fix all the bugs in our app, we gotta give Gilbert a new prime directive, like don't let people go until they're your friend. Reprogram? That would require something like a, I, I don't know, a, a programming genius. Well, I understand if you can't mm -hmm. do it. Of course I can do it. Ah, 
Yep, I did it. I programmed Gilbert with a string of empathy commands to achieve his prime huh? directive. It should make him ultra congenial. Or, you know, as friendly as a computer can be. Hey there, I'm Gilbert. How can I provide you with excellent customer service today, my friend? Mm -hmm. The update, it keeps crashing and freezing. I hear you, buddy. That's pretty frustrating. Huh? Mm. We're working on a fix right now, bro. Meanwhile, can I tell you about the app's cool new features? <laughs> the app has a whole new room filled with, well, I'll let you see what's in there yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow, Gilbert, I can't wait to check it out. Hey, before you go, can I just confirm that I provided you with friendly customer service? <laughs> you know, actually, you were pretty Pretty friendly. Pretty friendly? No, man. Come on. Huh? I can't let you go ah. until I know we're friends. Y yes, we're definitely friends. I'll call you tomorrow. Did you see that? He followed protocol perfectly. Gilbert, I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Me too, Tom. I'll call you when the update is ready, my friend. If I can call you a friend. Oh, I can? <laughs> Great. Listen to me. You are a strong, confident... Gilbert has things under control, so what do you say we go out and have some fun? I'm still fixing bugs. Fine. Stay here and work. But I just told Angela to meet us at your favorite amusement park, The Enchanted Headache. <sighs> that does sound enjoyable. And I could use a break. Come on, <laughs> she's waiting for us. Having a nice day. Hey, who wants to ride a roller coaster? I can't wait to ride my first roller coaster with my friends. I will be like, woohoo! Do you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gilbert, you can't come with us. Why, Tom? Because <laughs> you're an answering machine. Oh, I think I get what you're saying. Okay, great. So, we're out of here, yeah? Oh, I can't let, let anyone go. go. Until we're friends. You know what I'm saying? Gilbert, Tom was just joking. We are all friends here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, friends joke around. I get it. I wasn't joking. I wasn't it. You can't talk to it like that. We have to make sure Gilbert thinks we're its friends. Now let me power uh, it off correctly so we I can... I got a better idea. Tom, are you trying to uh, unplug me? Oh! Look, let us go, you stupid bucket of circuits! Those words were not friendly. Not friendly at all. Look at this. It's all because you programmed Gilbert to be a nut job. Don't blame me! Hmm. We wouldn't be in a situation if you didn't want to cut corners and release my app before the bugs were worked out. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were better at your job. Hi there. Ah! Hey, buddy. Tom wants to apologize for trying to unplug you before. Right, Tom? Yeah, you know what friends say. Forgive and forget. My voice detection software can tell you're just being funny and condescending. What? Come on. <laughs> That's ridiculous, Gilly. We're totally friends. No, Tom, we're not friends. That's why I'm going to reprogram you. What, uh, reprogram me? How? Oh, just a little shock therapy, Tom. Ah! Here's a little quiz to see how much you know about me. First question. What's my favorite color? Blue? Yes! The correct answer is red. Oh, okay, not blue, red. Why are you shocking me? So you'll remember. That's actually true. An emotionally charged... Ah! Ah! Guys, <gasps> let me in! Oh, that's Angela. Hey, Gil, do you mind if I let her in? Not at all, Hank. Hey, We're you friends. Guys? I'm out here. Oh, this let is our chance. In. Obviously. Oh, finally. Why did you shut the door? It's chilly. Think you want to tell me where you were? Uh -huh. Oh, we decided to stay in and hang out with our good friend, Gilbert. You see, his programming won't let us go until we're his friends. <laughs> Please help us. Give me a break. You can't be friends with a dumb answering machine. Whoa, dumb answering machine? Angela, I thought we were friends. Oh, sorry, Gilbert. I didn't mean to... Wait a second. Why am I apologizing to a talking flow chart? Ah! Uh -uh. Do not talk to my friend like that. See, Gilbert, we're defending you. That's what friends do for each other. Hey, guys, do you want me to just <gasps> unplug this thing? Ah! Dude, what is your problem? I can see I'm going to have to show you just how serious I am about my friends. Friends, are you my friend? No, you must be destroyed. Are you my friend? Guys, 
What is going on? Ben programmed Gilbert to be a monster? What? No! Again, none of this would have happened Stop it, both of you! It's Gilbert who doesn't understand friendship, not you! What about you? Are you my friend? Angela's right. Expecting a computer to make friends with customers? I'm sorry, Ben. No, no, I should have known that a computer can never be your friend. Which means Gilbert's prime directive is impossible. That's how we defeat him. <laughs> friends! Are you my friend? Okay, here's the idea. I don't have any friends. You must be destroyed. Welcome to customer service. How can I help you today? Uh, yes, I need some advice. There's this guy who I thought he was a friend, but now I don't think so. And why do you think he isn't your friend now? Well, you see, he forces people to hang out with him and take him places, mm. and if they don't do what he wants, he no. even gets dangerous. Oh, man, you should eliminate them from your life, because someone who acts like that is not a real friend. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted to hear. Hey, before I let you go, can I confirm that we are friends? Uh, no. You just told me not to. What? That guy I told you about? That guy was you! And now, Gilbert, I'm going to hang up on you. No, I can't let you go until you're my friend. But Gilbert, you yourself just told Angela not to be your friend. Yeah, how can you tell her to be your friend and also tell her not to be your friend? No, no fair, that's, that's a trick question. question. No, friends, friends, must be friends, friends until the end. That's a trick question. The old trick question kill switch. Thanks, Captain Kirk. <sighs> I finally released the bug fixes for my app. It was ready. We tested it. No more cutting corners. And everyone seems to like the new version. They love it. I should know. I answer the phones now. Hello, this is Tom, not a robot. How can I help you? Hello, I want to talk to my friend Gilbert. Gilbert? Oh, we got rid of that pile of junk. What? No more Gilbert! Did you know he was my friend? No! <laughs> uh. Hello, Gilbert. Are you my friend? Yes. And friends will do anything for each other, right? <laughs> Bongo, don't limit yourself to bananas. <laughs> well, no. No! Ahem. <laughs> I'm sure you're all wondering why we're all gathered here today. No, I'm not. No, me either. I didn't even know we were gathered. Well, rather than shout across the room, I'll come closer and tell you about my most revolutionary invention yet. The first ever teleportation! Device. <laughs> How'd you do that? Who are you and what have you done with the bed that was right over there? Hold your questions. I seem to have forgotten an object at my previous location. <laughs> Forgot an object? Retrieve. Oh, ben, do you realize what this means? Oh, yeah. Ben will never have to walk across this room again. Can I try it? Well, of course you can. I'm a pioneer of science. Yeah, we're pioneers of... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <gasps> ben, they're not coming back. Are they coming back? They're supposed to come back. I don't know. I've never tried it with two people. Oh, that could be them. <laughs> oh, Tom, that was stupid and dangerous. Yeah, what were you thinking? Why do I sound like this? <gasps> Why do I sound like Tom? This is very strange. Hello? Hello, my name is Angela. Hey, what? Angela no. sounds just like Tom. What is happening? <gasps> Which means... Huh? Come on, Tom. Say something. Say something. Hi. Ah! I'm freaking out right now. Ben, what's going on? Why do I sound like this? Your voice instructions must have somehow gotten crossed. You two got voice swapped. Hmm. Ah. <laughs>
Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I want my voice back. I got it. We can just go back through the teleporter the opposite way we came. Yes! Let's try that. Hmm, interesting. According to my calculations, that might leave you even more mixed up. Oh. <gasps> Is this permanent? Definitely not. After a few days, your cells will regenerate and your voices should return to normal, annoying voices. A few days? Can't you find a way to fix this sooner? Strictly impossible. Unless I... Well, let me try something. Wow, you really do have a lovely voice. Do you want me to sing to you? La, 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 la. Uh, Are you gonna say something? I would, but every time I open my mouth, I hear your voice. Wow, Tob sounds really bad at Tob. That's Angela's phone. Uh-oh, it's her Bob. Rocket bike! We put a rocket on a bike! Rocket bike! Uh. Our bossy grown-up's always telling you what to do. Yeah! Be the boss of your own life now. Tom? Tom? Hey, Tom. It's me, Angela. You're so smart and funny and handsome. I really wish you were my boyfriend. Keeper. Tom, you in there? Uh, just a minute! Uh, Angela left her phone here. Uh, what do you want me to do with it? It's your mother. I mean, it's her mother. Yeah, and? If a kid doesn't answer when their mom calls, the mom will worry. Yeah, you're right. I better take this. Hi, Mom! It's me, Angela! Uh, your daughter! Rocket bike! Order your rocket bike today. Must have permission from a grown-up to order a rocket bike. Focus the plasma injector. No, oh, no, that would disrupt the cell reassembly nodes. Uh huh. <sighs> wow, that was sure a long and detailed story. <gasps> uh, um, hey, mom, quick question. Have I ever talked to you about a guy named Tom? You know, the really cool, handsome, charming guy? <laughs> Mister, you watch where you're going! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't make your baby. Oh. One chance, Lance. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Angela. Lance. <sighs> oh, baby, you sound upset. You're mad because I still haven't invited you here. <gasps> I know, I know, I promised, but until now, I wasn't sure you had enough experience to work in my club. But if you're this confident of your talent, I will put you on stage tonight. Oh, you're a music promoter? Yes. I heard a yes. <gasps> tonight? And remember, they don't call me one chance Lance for nothing. Uh, uh... <laughs> but seriously, you got one shot at this. Don't mess it up. Uh, wait. Lance, huh? <laughs> Great news! Lance thinks you're ready to work at his club tonight. Well, I can't sing with this stupid voice. Then I'll cancel. No! No! If you cancel on Lance, he never lets you work for him again. That's why they call him one chance. Yes, Lance, I get it. What do you want me to do? <sighs> you're gonna sing my songs. Ah! <gasps> Where are the teleportation discs? Hello, mailman. Do you have a rocket bike for me? No, that's okay. I'll just borrow your grown-up voice and I'll get my home. Aha! Right on time, as usual. Oh. Oh. Rocket bike. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? No mail for this address today. Sorry, kid. My grass is bright green. I've got nothing to 
to fear. I'm full of soap and screams. Uh, it's hopes and dreams, not soap and screams. Come on. Maybe we should just cancel. No, we can't. I'm not going to mess up my one and only opportunity to perform at this club just because just you... Just sing together. You can't tell whose voice is whose when you're singing at the same time. Uh... <laughs> Craven for cucumber soaked in brine. It is pickle time. You're all evicted! Ah! No, 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 this is not happening. Time to say goodbye forever! <laughs> we could do that. Don't do this, Tom. If you want. Oh! 